Well, I'm looking kind of Shakira. Or is it dead? See? Why is it just like... Stop playing! Stop playing! Stop playing! If I give it food, trust me. You hungry? Yo, I think my fish is dead. You know, he be playing. He be playing. Don't play like that. Because you know I get scared. They can't even see you, bro. Stop acting dead, bro. It's not even funny anymore. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, I actually... Hey. He not trying to get any of his... Oh my god. Oh my gosh. No, because I was just trying to do a video. Nobody told you for real time. <sighs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Bruh, uh-uh. Maybe if I put you back in your bowl. <gasps> uh-uh. Look at- Surprise, mother- Today, when- It was something that happened in middle school. <clears throat> ah, something that happened in middle school. When I- was i feel like i was in the yeah i was in the sixth grade and i'm just gonna tell you what happened so basically to private schools my parents like they uh what did they do they drove me to school but once i hit sixth grade i started riding the bus okay and my bus crew was so great like they were so i love them i still talk to a lot of them and it was the same people from sixth through eighth grade so Anyway, I liked my bus crew. We were real chill. We were real comfortable with each other. And I would say a little too comfortable sometimes. Hence the story I'm about to tell you. I'm not even really trying to out like the people that, um. All right, I'm back. So, so basically, one year we had this bus driver and she was actually really chill. Like I said, everybody on this bus was so comfortable with each other. And when I mean everybody, I mean including the bus driver. She was a little too comfortable with us too. I really like her, but I've always been like that. Like, I just love like getting close to adults sometimes. Like, but she was already kind of like crazy. But like for me, as like <clears throat> me being only like 11 years old, like what am I gonna say about crazy? Like I'm probably just as crazy as her. Like you know, um, I know I said I'd come back when I finish my eyebrows, but right now I, I just don't care because that's all I do. Like if I, what am I gonna be doing when I'm talking to nothing? Anyway, so she was already kind of crazy, but I, like I said, I didn't really notice it. But yeah. So, one day, I'm not even going to get into explicit details because this is a family friendly, family friendly um, type of. This is a family friendly channel, right? One of my friends. Let's call her Kaylee. So, Kaylee, um,. Kaylee, she was giving, and I had, I had another friend, his name was, I'm not gonna say his name, but let's say his name is like, Billy. So Kaylee was giving Billy, like a dance, if you know, you know. So Kaylee was giving Billy a dance that wasn't really appropriate, 
and uh, <laughs> I had another friend and his name was John. That's not his real name, by the way, but okay. So you know how buses are set up. There's like two rows. No, there's one, no, there's an aisle and there are two rows of seats. So Kaylee and what did I say his name was? We're giving him a new name, Kaylee and Joe. Let's just say Kaylee and Joe. Kaylee and Joe, which is the boy that I said earlier, I just forgot his name. Kaylee and Joe, um, they, um, that was pretty. Kaylee and Joe, they were doing a little inappropriate dance thing. And then across the aisle from Kaylee and Joe, there was John. And so he, he could see right into their seats, right? And beside John, there's a boy named King. That's not his real name, but that's the name for the sake of this video. I'm gonna be basically doing that, so don't assume that's their names. So John and King were sitting together and Kaylee and Joe were sitting together. So Kaylee and Joe were doing the dance and John and King were literally just watching. I was sitting behind Kaylee and Joe and my other friend, Tamara, she was sitting, that's not her name, she was sitting, <laughs> She was sitting um, behind John and King, okay? So, John and King were literally watching and John was like, oh, that's inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. But he was still laughing. He was still looking, this, that, and the other. King, he was so hot. Like, he was such a, <laughs> like, we're still friends. If you're watching this, King, you know who you are. He was just nosy, like, and it wasn't like he meant to be nosy, but he didn't have a phone at the time. So he was just like, always like, of course looking at what that like whatever happened out that when we weren't on our phones like that entertained him because what, what was he gonna look at like he didn't have anything to like sidetrack him and what was the other girl and tamara my friend tamara she was literally recording this okay all right i'm sitting behind them and i don't even know what i was doing but i know i wasn't looking like i was i don't know what i was doing on my phone but i know i wasn't looking at them so i like I stand up in my chair to look over the seat like you know how you can do that I look over the seat and I just sit back down because I'm laughing and I think it's funny but I just look over and sit back down and then I'm literally just not even paying attention for the rest of the whole entire time they're still carrying on I don't think it's that funny I'm just like what are they doing like they're crazy they're wild what yeah yeah so I go back to probably taking pictures of myself like I was so ugly back look at this um <laughs> I was probably taking pictures and so then maybe like a couple, maybe two or three minutes later, all you hear is the bus driver. And she's like, how would you like it if I told your dad you were doing it? No. Like I said, she was really, we were all really close. So she knew our parents and stuff. Well, I don't know if she knew mine, but she knew like a lot of our parents. And I knew she knew, what did I decide? Kaylee, I knew she knew Kaylee's. Um, if you guys aren't confused by the names, I am. So um, I knew she knew Kaylee people, so yeah so basically she knew kaylee's like dad and so that's when kaylee literally flies off of uh joe and i'm just like we're so everybody else is just like glad well no, no <laughs> that's not what happened so that's when um john he puts his headphones in he turns on his phone he turns around he's like i'm not gonna be a part of this even though he was a part of it he he, he just i don't know i don't know if he went to sleep i don't know what he did i think he even moved to the back he's like i'm not nope Haley like falls in like the cracks of the seat <laughs> um and she's like crying and then she just like slides over and like scoot over to king because john had moved to the back by then so then she's like king slide over so she sits beside king and Tamara is, I don't know Tamara, Tamara was still recording when she said, how would you like that I told your dad that? And she's like dying in the seat. And I'm like, oh. So I'm looking at the bus driver and I'm looking at them and I'm like laughing with everybody else, right? And that's when it happens. That's when she's like, Trinity, you always doing something to come up here. I'm like, Trinity? What did I do? And like, the thing is, I think, she, I know for a fact she knew who it was. So why was she telling me to come up there and not one of those two, okay? So, but okay, I should have just went up there. I'm not even gonna hold you. I really should have just went up there. But me being a young sixth grader who didn't even know, like, who just didn't, I don't know, like, a young sixth grader who just, just 
didn't know what how to pick and choose her battles i was like why me like i argued that i was irritated because i hate getting in trouble for stuff that i didn't do obviously they did it and like me growing up with like younger siblings i'm always getting in trouble for stuff that i didn't do so it, i don't know it was just really that just really irritated me i think i was already having a bad day i honestly don't even think i don't know what i was doing but i'm pretty sure i was having like a bad day by then so i was just like what i didn't do anything but she's like no you're always instant but i was like who who is she who is she talking to me she was talking to me she was an adult and i should have listened guys do not listen to me if an adult even if an adult disrespects you it's not your place as a child to talk back you just tell your parents and you let them handle that or your guardian whoever whoever handles stuff for you at home so don't listen to what i did and yeah so she she was like and keep playing and if you don't and i had a and another thing why i really didn't want to move it was back when i played the violin and why are you in here all the way i say slamming i was just really <laughs> i was like where did my pally go so i was just really irritated and uh back then for some reason oh our teacher used to make us carry our textbooks home and plus i played like the violin and my case was like huge but because of that i was already settled in i did not want to get up and i was just really irritated and she was like no you're coming up here so this is what i did which none of you guys should ever do i argued back with an adult at 11 years old i'm not even gonna lie i would do that again i mean i would argue with an adult of, mm, let me just i would i'm not gonna say don't like you're bad if you argue with an adult because i still argue with adults to this day but just refrain from it it's, it doesn't get you anywhere we argued and we argued and we argued and she just dropped me off and i was like i'm gonna call my lawyer like who what how mm, okay well, what am i gonna call my lawyer for no reason like i because she made me move up to the front of the bus like that is the dumbest thing i could have ever said she fell for you though which was weird. She was like, I, I won't go to the school if you don't call your lawyer. I was just like, what? <laughs> like, I mean, it, it sounded really smart right then and there, but like my friends joke about it to this day. I'm gonna call my lawyer. Like, girl, like my parents were really gonna let you get a lawyer because she made you move to the front. Like, I was so mad. Like, and I thought my parents were gonna be just as aggravated with me. Like, no, they weren't. They're just like, oh. She made like really like weird comments like about boys, like little boys. Like one of the boys, she was like, ooh, like I can see he's gonna be real nice looking. Mm -mm, I bet you got a little chest hair, you shave it. Like just stuff like that. And it was just, I don't know. I feel like if a boy, if a man were to tell me that, see, I feel like society is really quick to ignore like little boys getting um like inappropriate questions like that asked to them. But if if it were flipped, if that were me and it was a grown man, like a, a grown man asking me those questions, like most definitely it would, like it would be a problem. Those are just really inappropriate comments. And like looking back at it, it was really disturbing of the comments that she would make with, um, to this little boy. She, so she forgave the boy who was a part of the whole thing but she never forgave the girl because she was like one of those people that just had a really like problem with girls now that i'm looking back at it like um she um when she would talk about her kids she would like praise her son and then she would like totally like diss her daughter which was so just disgusting like after that whole situation she like really just was like so rude to us like she made the girl kaylee sit in the front all the time i remember she would just do all this sneaky stuff to me like one day i was literally walking off the bus and she pressed like i don't know you know it's just like the bus lurched for i don't know what she pressed but the bus lurched for and literally like my bag fell and everything and i was just like are you trying to kill me like what like i get it we had a little like I'm a disagreement but that's kind of dangerous and plus i'm only 11 like what are you doing you are a grown woman what are you doing and i just got really tired of it and i was telling my mom all of this stuff and she was like this lady's crazy like she does one more thing blah 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 and the last straw for my mom is when i got on the bus and she like lurched the bus forward like 
that was just like the final straw for her and my mom literally i don't know if i ever finished all you guys with my mom dude but it was getting near the end of the school year and my mom just had, had enough do not correct your worker or get my child another one blah 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 and so i guess what ended up happening was um we got it well yeah we got a new bus driver but it was in the school year so it really didn't matter anymore but yeah we ended up getting a new bus driver which was great all right y'all i'm back i got sidetracked but this is like finished I was gonna look at me get ready with me thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe help grow this family all my social medias are in the description box so if you want to keep up with me on the daily make sure to follow those um <laughs> anyway thanks for watching bye